Online shopping gone overboard. Retail experts say they're seeing bracket buying where customers unsure of their size buy a few options and return the rest. For example, I'm in a size six in shoes. Uh, so if I were a bracket buyer, what I would do is buy both size five, size six, as well as size seven, just in case. It is a logistical headache for merchants. It leads to a lot of waste and a greater carbon footprint especially for fast fashion items, many of which end up in the landfill. Typically the cheaper, faster, fast fashion pieces, um, the actual cost of the human to restock that piece is more than the value of the actual item. A recent survey of online retailers shows more than 40% of merchants say shipping prices are their biggest challenge. More than a third expect that challenge to continue this year. That's led retailers, including Abercrombie and & Fitch and Uniqlo, to start charging for online returns. Is this a sign the era of free returns is coming to an end? Time will tell. But Canadian solutions have emerged. Return Bear partnered with the Bay in January to offer customers the option to return items in centrally located drop boxes. If they want to ship the item for a return, there's a streamlined experience for mailing it back. A lot of the retailers we're working with now have, you know, upwards of 20 to 30 percent of their inventory and sales getting returned back. Uh, and so that's really what the, um, the crux of the problem is. Good for Sunday is a small Canadian clothing manufacturer. Founder Anthony Kendris saw the need for a homegrown solution to help small businesses struggling to handle returns. We match a customer that wants to return an item with the next one in line that wants to buy it, completely removing a shipping trip. Greener, more efficient solutions exist and are starting to gain traction, but at the heart of it all is overconsumption because it's convenient. We buy 60% more clothes today than we did 20 years ago, and we only keep our clothes for half as long as we used to. Anne Gaviola, Global News, Toronto.